What up guys, Drifty here, back to the again with another video with episode 2 of Collector Tips. On my first episode, I teach you guys on some tips and tricks on like, for example, when's the best time to go collecting and where to find your Hot Wheels cars. So if you missed out that video, be sure to watch it. There are some pretty helpful tips on that one. I'll put a link to that video after, you know, in the end card. So, you found your car, you found the car that you want, you found this Akira NSX right here, which is uh, a lot of collectors are going after. But what do you do with it? Do you keep it carded or do you keep it loose? Well, today we're gonna go over the pros and cons of carded collecting and loose collecting. First, let's talk about practicality. I'm not really sure what's the correct word to use for this, but let me explain. If you're a loose collector, you can hold the car and play with it, maybe play it in around the table, and have a 360 degree view of the car. Because on the pop culture series, for example, this Dodge A100 right here, you can see on this side it has this art with Snoopy on the doghouse, but on the other side, it's actually a different art style, you know, there's actually Snoopy hanging, hanging his socks. So if you're a carded collector, you're not able to see the other side of the car, let alone fiddle with it and actually take a close look at the car. I like to keep my cars loose because if I keep them in a blister, I feel like the car is caged. Yes, it's a harsh term for a car, you know, for a toy car, but I feel like the car is caged when it's in a plastic blister, you know. You're not able to let it breathe and not fiddle with it and whatnot. So, yeah, it kind of sucks, you know, like when the car is just right there, sitting there, you're not able to touch it. No, it just, it just feels bad for me. So, yeah, it's up to you. you if you want to play with your car, it's better for you to keep it loose. If you're not really that play, you don't really play with your, play with your cars, then maybe you might prefer to keep it carded. Second in the list is storage. And this is probably one of the most important factors of collecting is uh, keeping your cars. Obviously, if you're gonna buy a car, you need to keep them somewhere. As you can see, I keep my cars loose. Some are uh, carded and some are loose. And maybe you're not like me, you keep your cars in a box. So let's talk about boxes. Here I have a drawer of cars. I'm not sure whether you're able to see that, but you can see there are like 50 to 60 cars in this drawer. But imagine if you're a loose, if you're a carded collector, imagine how many you can put in that box. I'm assuming maybe 10 at most. Maybe you can put 10 cars as compared to 50 to 60 cars in that drawer alone. On top of that, if you are a carded collector, you're most likely going to come across these things, carded uh, card protectors, you know, to protect the cards so that they don't get creased and whatnot. These alone, they take up even more space <laughs> if you're gonna keep the cards carded. So, if you're a loose collector, you're able to store more cards. Maybe you're scared of scratching them, but you can just put them in plastic bags and you'll be safe. So, don't worry about, don't worry about getting them scratched. And if you're a carded collector, you're gonna need more boxes than a loose collector because they're gonna take up a lot of space your carded cars so yeah so so far it looks like being a loose collector is a more uh, preferable option right well not so fast for our third point we're gonna talk about information basically if you're gonna keep a car carded everything is here you know from which series this is from which year it is the cars in that series and not and you know you have all the information right there if you're a loose collector, at most, maybe you have the name of the car right here. But maybe in the future, like 30, 40 years down the road, you might forget from what from what series this is. And you might need to look it up in Wikipedia. So maybe in this term, if you're a carded collector, you basically have a library of cars. You literally know every single fact from what series this is and whatnot. So yeah, that's one thing being a carded collector is better at than being a loose collector. You have more information. For my fourth point, the card of the car. So this is also one of the det determining factors, obviously, if you're gonna keep a car carded. And it's the card art. Sometimes Hot Wheels makes amazing card art, you know? They can be, imagine a designer taking hours and hours, drawing all the lines of the car. These are not real pictures, they're, they're actually art, you know? They probably photoshopped it and gave us this amazing card art right here. So you might want to keep the card art, you know? And that's why people keep it carded. They want to admire the painting, you could say the artwork of the designer. And it's understandable. So if you're a carded collector, you want to keep it carded, so you can keep the art. That's understandable. But... If you really just want art, why not just open it up and keep the box of the car? For example, I have some cars right here. As you can see, I open them up. The main line, maybe they're not so nice, but I keep them because it's very easy to store. Look at it, it's so thin. I can just stack them on top of each other. And look at this, they're pretty nice. Like this Dodge Viper right here. They're pretty nice to look at and who knows what I can do with them. Maybe I can cut them out next time and display them or some sort. So, if you like the card and you don't want to destroy it, sure, keep the card carded. Or if not, you can cut them out 
like this or you have a third option which most people don't do surprisingly and this is what I do maybe you guys will like it but what I do is I actually use a knife and cut around these edges right here so I can open them up so not only am I able to uh, keep the card like this carded if I want to I can just open it up and play with it and the card stays intact I I don't know why people aren't doing that you know it's not damaged you can see I still have the card right here and if I'm gonna put it back BAM magic just like that so if if, if this is still not your thing you just don't want to cut it open then there's one last thing that's stopping you and let's get to that it's value so despite all the points I've said, the only reason why you probably be, you want to be a carded collector is to keep the value of the card. Yes, for example, this Acura NSX, I can sell this for, for example, 14 Singapore dollars. But once I slice, slice, slice it open and this becomes a loose card, this whole thing becomes maybe 10 or 11 Singapore dollars. And that's the thing about being a loose collector. This is where we loose collectors lose out is that when you're opening a car, it loses around 20 to 30% of its value on average. So if you're a carded collector, your, your collection is more valuable than a loose collector. But then, to rebuild that point as a loose collector, here's the thing. For example, I want to buy a Speed Machine Bugatti Veyron, and if it's carded, it costs $100. But if I want a Bugatti Veyron, I'm a loose collector. I can get it for $60. So yes, you're losing value for opening the cars. But at the same time, if you're used to loose collecting, you at the same time can get cars at a cheaper price. So yeah, if you're a loose collector, you might lose money from maybe selling them off in the future. But at the same time, you're also buying cars at a cheaper price if you're gonna buy them loose, you know, being a loose collector. But then there is one thing I like to add. This is for my last point. Don't collect for the value, value what you collect. What's the point of buying a car when you have the thought of reselling it in the future? That's like going to a relationship and then thinking, oh, I'm gonna break up with her in the future. So, eh. So same thing for a car. If you're gonna buy a car, make sure you have the future in mind that you're gonna keep this. Like, what's the point of, oh, I'm gonna buy this car and then keep it for the future and then resell it? If you have the thought of reselling your car that you just bought, that doesn't make sense. You're buying a car because you love it, not because you know it's gonna appreciate in the future, in the price, and you can resell it for more value. If you really wanna earn money from investing in cars, become an investor, go to an exchange site and invest on some companies like Apple. You can earn much much more money from that instead of collecting from toy cars. That's why we have scalpers. They wanna earn $1 from every single toy car. Like what, they take, take them one month just to earn $1. Good job. So if you're a scalper, I have no idea. You're probably a poor, just, just a poor scrub, you know? And so yeah, don't collect for the value, value what you collect. So that's it guys for today's video. Is there any points I missed out? Maybe being a loose collector is better because of some reason or maybe not because of some reason. Tell me in the comments below. I'd like to make some discussion in the comments section below. So yeah, that's it guys for this video. So uh, if you guys missed out my previous video, click right here. I'm not sure I can really see myself. Or maybe click right here for another random video and don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. That's it guys for today's video and I hope you guys have a good day or have a good evening and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.